everybody and welcome to my tutorial about paths and outlining on GIMP. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been doing any tutorials really lately. I've been kind of busy and also my uh, my trial period ran out on Psy and I haven't gotten around to sort of renewing my license yet. So yeah, um, So, but I figured I'd do one on GIMP uh, for, for people who like to use that. So here I have my, my picture and this can be you know something that you sketched with a tablet or something that you did with pencil and you scan onto your computer just a rough sketch and I've got that in GIMP this is an alternate method to my other my ink the one that I show you in my inking and line art video um, this this one you can use if you have a tablet if you want your lines to be just smoother or if you don't have a tablet that's the really useful thing um, and yeah so what you want to do is first you want to zoom up on the part that you're gonna start outlining and so I'm gonna go to like her hair I'm gonna do her bangs here as an example and you want to click on this little button that's paths with the little pen thing make sure you have that U cursor uh, make sure you have the right one and then you want you want this to be on design when you start to sort of draw your path and you want to click and it should give you a little like purple outline circle and you just kinda of go roughly it's it can be really rough at first um, just kinda of go around the first curve that you want to do and obviously that doesn't look much like it so what I'm gonna do is click edit and then you can go in and sort of click on the middle of the line and you can pull it uh, however far out we want and you can see it makes a curve the other way you can edit this is by these these little guys um, you can move those around that sort of does like them in the middle of your curve and you can do that in between all of them and you can see it makes more little purple circles every time you click uh, if you want to move around one of those purple circles you've already done don't do that. Go back to design mode and click on it and drag it, and you can make it smaller or longer, whatever you want. And um, yeah, okay. So then I'm gonna go back and put it back on design, and sort of start doing my next curve. And if you want to, like, say I'm up here, but I kind of want to go down there, but I don't want it to drag all the way across. So I'm gonna click on this guy, and then it'll start it back over, over there. And you can go back to edit and just drag make sure you're on a new layer that's like above your line art layer that your sketch layer so this is this is going to be your your new outline layer um, make sure it's transparent and you want to click um, do stroke path that's what I usually use and make sure it's on stroke line now you can um, I usually do like two pixels or something like that. It kind of depends on the size of your drawing and the resolution, but uh, just make sure it's small enough, not too thick. And then if you go to line style, one way to make it look less um, like pixelized and sort of boxy is by clicking on this round one right there. That that makes it, when it comes together, it's not like really hard and stuff. It, it's rounded. So if you click on that and then you stroke, you can see it, it outlined that um, in black. And it's still a little bit rough. You can go in for this and just sort of um, go around and fill in those little mistakes that there are. Um, and but then when you go out, it actually doesn't look too bad, and um, it's not too thick. All right. So then you can just go in and uh, click on path again, and sort of just pick up where you left off. Um, as you can see, I have finished drawing the hair, and if you, if I'm going to zoom in a little bit, uh, if you look closely, um, when I get rid of this, it, it looks pretty smooth. There's there's some parts that are a little rough, but it's pretty good overall. Um, and I just did that by using the path. Um, I did want to say a couple things about like doing other details. Like for example, if I wanted to do some inside this hair, if I wanted to do like some little slashes that are thinner. Um, I just want to use the paintbrush, and you can either like you can draw it freehand if you have a tablet, or you can um, just like that, just thinner. Or you can use the method that I showed you in one of my previous videos, where you click and then you hold shift. All right. Uh, as you can see, I have now finished the line art that I started. Um, 
And I used a combination of the path tool and the method I showed you with the shift and click for making lines. Um, and I wanted to direct your attention to one thing on here that helps you control um, your paths, which would be uh, Windows, and you can go to Dockable Dialogs, and then down here is um, Paths. So if you click on that, you can see uh, with this you can pretty much view any path that you've ever drawn, like in the picture. Uh, and you can also like lock them together if you want to move them and stuff by clicking here. And it's just kind of cool because then you can like stroke or restroke anyone that you've drawn. Uh, and it just helps you keep track of them well. Alright, so this line art is now done. And um, here's the original. And you can now I can start coloring it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.